Alright, so this just happened. Look, so Nipsey Hussle's March 31st shooting death took the wind out of hip hop's proverbial sails. But out of that unexpected tragedy, there's reportedly peace brewing between the Bloods and the Crips gangs. The death of Neighborhood Nip, who is affiliated with the Rolling 60s Crips, is proving to be a catalyst for change. According to The Guardian, South Los Angeles rival gangs came together for the first time in decades to discuss putting an end to the violence. Over the past four weeks, LA gang members and community organizers have attempted to use its passing to discuss possible truces between neighborhood gangs that have engaged in gun violence for years. While many remain skeptical that any actual change is possible, there's plenty of people who are confident if anyone can inspire peace, it's Nip. This young man did more in 33 years than most have done in a lifetime, Minister Tony Muhammad, a Nation of Islam leader who knew the rapper said. Hundreds of gangs were in the streets in LA, as The Guardian points out. Gang ties revolve around neighborhood boundaries and families, and groups have long histories and cultures that extend far beyond an underground economy and violent activity. Gang interventionalist Lanaisha Edwards, who lost two brothers to gang violence, explains how people wind up in gangs. We're all gang members because we were born into this. We grew up in it, Edward says. You have been in at least 30 different gangs in different communities as we roll through these streets, she noted, taking off the names of various sets at a rapid pace. Latina Ward, who's from a neighborhood called The Jungle, says it's not uncommon for rival gangs to be friends, and sadly, they're used to senseless killings, such as Nips. Being killed like that, it's a common thing for people that come from where we come from, Ward said, to be killed by their own homies, or just violently like that, and for no reason. We used to it. It's common for rival gang affiliates to go to school together and have mutual friends. We all share the same struggles, the systemic racism, all that shit we victims to. Even people who consider the rolling 60s an opponent in gang warfare still had a fondness for hustle. Ward continued, Nipsey is from Los Angeles. He is one of our own, even if he is amongst us, one of our enemies. Nipsey's alleged killer, Eric Holder, was reportedly affiliated with the rolling 60s. He was taken into custody earlier this month and stands accused of gunning down the Grammy Award nominated rapper in front of his Marathon clothing store, which is located at the intersection of Slauson and Crenshaw. He has since pleaded not guilty. So yeah, what do you guys think? Will there finally be peace between the Bloods and the Crips? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.